everybody and welcome to this video. Um, this video is going to be the first in a series of videos. Um, this is the Great Book Unhaul of 2022. And why do you say that? Well, this is the deal. Um, I am in a very, very small place now. And I don't have the room that I used to have. And I don't have the space that I used to have. So that makes sense. But also, um, I don't have the shelving that I used to have. And I was going through boxes and boxes of books. <clears throat> and one thing is, is that I have a storage unit. And the only thing in that storage unit is boxes and boxes of books. So I'm spending almost $300 a month on putting books in a giant closet that I cannot access. And I don't like that. I don't like um, that that is a thing. And just from a money standpoint, it's silly. And so um, I like went through the stuff that I have access to right now without digging deep. And I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> there are books that I want. And I've talked about this before um, when I've done book hauls. Like I've had like book hauls and I've had intentional book hauls and an intentional book haul is when like I'm scouring the internet looking for a certain copy of a book that I really, really, really want. And then there are other times when I, I go to a thrift store and I'll just pick up a bunch of cool crap because it's cheap. Um, and because I'm limited on space, um, I mean, I guess technically I could buy a couple more bookcases and I don't know. Like I have bookcases in my kitchen right now. Okay. And my kitchen's this big. So just the whole thing's silly. And, um, I don't want to keep books in the kitchen because like if I'm cooking and like, I don't know, just like food smells and grease and like whatever, depending on what you're cooking is going to get on the books and like, it's freaking me out. So, um, I have decided that I am going to get rid of books that either I'm not going to read again or that I have no idea when I will actually read them. So, um, I want to keep books that I'm trying to collect a series of. So, for instance, like my Conan books, my Edgar Rice Burroughs books, like, as you, let, let's use this as an example. So, these Edgar Rice Burroughs books here, this is the, um, what, what is this? This is the Ballantine um, editions of these covered books, which I, I absolutely love these. Uh, these are great. I would love to have the whole... Um, collection of these and this one I, I I actually don't know if I have all these I might th these are the ones that I might actually have the most of but um, these ones here these are the ace editions when ace went to standard mass market paperback size but then I also have these ace editions that are the more um, closer to a square, like the earlier ones. And I would like all of these as well. So, <clears throat> and a lot of these, these aren't books I'm getting to read because these little ace ones, um, I don't think I would ever try to read it. I just read Pelu this one right here, Pellucidor like this. And I was so afraid to open the book more than just like, like a little crack that it was kind of silly to do. Now, the Conan books, these are the Ants, Ants, um, Ace Lancer 
editions, I want to collect all of these. And I have a lot of them, but then I have these ones. And I think these are the Canadian editions that have more um, of the artwork on it. And I really want all of these. So, um, and then on the back, it's just like, well, now we have a giant barcode on it, so that's not really great. So I would really like all of those. <clears throat> um, as far as my Raymond Chandler books go, like um, these covers, the UK Penguin editions, I love these. Um, these look so cool. And I would like to get all of these in standard mass market paperback size. Um, and I have some of these that are um, trade paperback size. So that collection is all fucked up. Um, let's see what else we got. And then obviously I want to finish my Carter Brown collection, which is going to take forever. Um, but like my Tarzan book, so that goes back to Edgar Rice Burroughs. Um, my um, Mickey Spillane, my camera books, I have decided with these, like I'm going to be getting rid of a ton of Mickey Spillane. Because I've read Mickey Spillane's books that aren't my camera, and I don't really like them very much. And I also don't like his my camera books that he wrote after becoming a Jehovah's Witness. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's a different. The character is a little bit different. He tried to make my camera more of like an international man of mystery instead of just like a hard boiled dick. So, um, I can't remember what the last one is. I think the last one, do I have it on here? I think the last one is Kiss Me Deadly, if I recall. Let me see if that is accurate. Wow, this book went all over, or this video, this book. Is it not going to tell me? It's not going to tell me. In that cup. So, um, Kiss Me Deadly, I think, is the last um, good My Camera book. But um, another one came out after he became a Jehovah's Witness or whatever. And then there was one called The Twisted Thing that was actually written to be the second or third book. And the publisher turned it down for whatever reason. So I consider that one in the main um my camera pre JW um, canon because obviously whatever I say is like the rule of the land. So anyway, so just little things like that. And there are more than just um, Conan and Carter Brown and Raymond Chandler and Edgar Rice Burroughs and Robert E. Howard um, that I'm focusing my collections on. And again, there are other books that, um, I want to get that I haven't read that um, I'm going to be focusing my attention on tracking down the copies that I like. Um, there's a there's a whole set of um, Camus books that look so fucking cool, and um, I would like to get that whole set. Um, <clears throat> as far as the um, my James Bond books. I have a bunch of different um, James Bond books from over the years, but there's one collection that has um, a very minimalistic style. I think years ago I actually did a video on it. So um, I would rather have those because they are more aesthetically pleasing to me. But then there's also like um, pulp people that I love that I would love to have um, a big collection of those. So like the spider, like I want to get a really good, not, I mean, wh where is it? I had one just sitting right here a second ago. This one right here. These, <laughs> these are so silly. Um, like when they tried to turn the spider into, because the sixties were full of these James Bond ripoffs, but the spider is nothing like that and um it's just comical like how they did this but anyway so <clears throat> like getting these ones would be more for fun 
than for anything else. So now that I told you a bunch of stuff that I'm keeping, let's get to the unhaul, shall we? So, um, oh yeah, the other thing is, um, I have an eBay page now, an eBay store, where I'm going to be selling a bunch of this stuff. If the books are like to the point, and some of them are, that um, I can't sell them because they're just trashed and have been read so many times. Those ones, I'm mean, just going to like give away down in the lobby, like just put on something and people could take them or whatever. Um, but I'm not in a position to where I could just be sending books out to people. So um, I do have an eBay store and the link will be down below. So if you see any of these that you like, um, run over there before they're gone. So, um, there in this batch, there's some Arthur C. Clarke. So, Sands of Mars, right here. This is a beautiful cover. Um, ugh. There is a bit of a tear on the back right here, but the spine for this is really good. And some of these are bagged, some of them aren't. This one's probably the best looking one out of all of them. Uh, the City and the Stars. It's... I would say near mint. I don't think it's ever been read. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. This hurts, guys. This is kind of painful. I'm not, not going to lie. Um, then we have a newer edition. I think this is 85. 87. Um, Reach for Tomorrow. Arthur C. Clarke. <clears throat> this one is pretty gorgeous. There's a little bit of wear. This is Shuttle Down by Lee Corey. There's little, um, a little bit on the edges there. But for the most part, this book looks amazing. Uh, the back is a bit off-center. I don't know how the rest of them look. And then for the paperbacks from, from hell people out there, um, this one I'm so, like some of these I just love so much. Like this is a very simple cover and it almost looks like this should be like the inside cover. Like when you like do the die cut thing, but this is The Man Who Would Not Die by Thomas Page. Um, spine is a bit worn, it's been red. Oh, and then this guy, In the Deep Woods, which is now an explosive NBC TV movie by Nicholas Condi. Um, I, this is a St. Martin's Press edition. Looks pretty good. Spine looks well. This is in actually really good shape. It's a little bit of discoloration right there. And then finally, in this batch, we have Alan Dean Foster's Parallelites. 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 Yeah. So there is some wear, especially on the back. This kind of went through the ringer there. But anyway, so um, this is the first batch. Um, link to the store in the description below. I did a video um, actually about two weeks ago and um, I haven't edited it yet, edited it, edited it yet because on that one, it's me cleaning and bagging a bunch of books that I'm going to be putting up on the store. So um, that one was like an hour and a half. So I got to cut a bunch out of it because that's just, for me, that's too long. And since I don't have internet and I'm just using my hotspot on my phone, putting up a video that big is just unbelievable. So, um, yeah. So the other thing I want to say, <clears throat> and this is kind of um, hurting me a little bit. Um, some of the books that I'm going to be selling are books that some of you have sent to me. And that kind of breaks my heart a little bit and makes me feel like a piece of shit. So, but also, um, over the years, so many of you have sent me books 
that I don't remember who sent what to who or anything like that. So if you have sent me a book and you see that I'm selling it, don't take that as like me being shitty to you or anything like that. It means that I either read the book and I'm not going to read it again, or I don't know if I'm ever going to get to it. And I'm just trying to make space for things that I really, really, really want. So, um, apologies if you have sent me books and now I'm selling them. Um, that feels dirty. Um, when I say that out loud for some reason, but it's something I actually really, really need to do because I can't be spending that much money on a storage unit when I can't even afford internet connection. So, um, trying to weigh my priorities here. So anyway, um, if you dig any of this stuff, um, or you want to comment about any of this, leave it down um, below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and smash any button you like. Um, especially if it's the like button. So until next time, everybody, um, take care. Oh my gosh. No, wait, the video's not over. Everyone stop. I forgot to tell you. Um, the pre-order for Dead Dame Curse is still going on. The book is coming out, I think on June 6th, maybe 7th, I don't know. Um, but it's the next book in my Hank Bradshaw series, Private Dick. Um, it's book four. You don't need to read them in order. They're completely standalone books. So if um, you're interested in that, there will also be a link for that down below. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.